This September, get ready for a whole new round of great Netflix programming. Headlining the month is Maniac, which stars Jonah Hill and Emma Stone as two participants in a medical study that goes disastrously wrong. Other highlights include new seasons of Netflix originals Iron Fist and American Vandal, along with the original film Hold the Dark. In fact, there's so much heading to Netflix in September that it's hard to keep track of everything, so we've rounded up the best new releases to look forward to next month. Let's get down to the nitty-gritty. Here's everything good coming to Netflix in September 2018. Atypical Season 2 Critics and audiences love the first season of Atypical, which follows a high schooler on the autism spectrum as he does his best to navigate school and family life. With comedy and drama in equal measure, Atypical was quick to draw in a loyal fanbase, and Kia Gilchrist in particular delivered a winning performance as the main character, Sam. Season 2 will pick up right where the first season left off, following Sam's dysfunctional family as they deal with their particular brand of Atypical drama. Look for it on September 7th. Marvel's Iron Fist Season 2 Even though Iron Fist has the unfortunate legacy of being the least liked Marvel show on Netflix so far, that hasn't stopped the characters from making an impact. Iron Fist showed up in the team-up series The Defenders, and now he's back with the second season of his standalone show. You back for more? Oh, we've not even started. Will the new season manage to rise above the rocky foundations laid out in its first outing? Find out when Iron Fist returns on September 7th. American Vandal Season 2 We didn't think it was possible, but American Vandal is getting even more meta in Season 2. In the first season, the show revolved around a vandal who defaced a school. In Season 2, someone named the Turd Burglar is spiking the cafeteria food. But the line is blurring between fact and fiction. From scenes of their own show on Netflix to emails between Netflix and the made-up documentarians who investigated the original crimes, American Vandal Season 2 is plunging so deep into parody that it's even mocking itself. Get caught up in the mystery on September 14th. BoJack Horseman Season 5 for four seasons of horseplay and nihilism, Bojack Horseman has alternately stunned, broken, and uplifted audiences. The story of a has-been sitcom star who's still trying to chase the dream in Hollywood, it's the kind of show that plays like a comedy, only to sneak up on you with pain and sadness. One drink. What can we expect when season 5 lands? Honestly, with Bojack Horseman, there's no telling. So, we'll all have to wait until September 14th to find out. Maniac Limited Series Netflix has been dropping teasers for Maniac for months now, and we're still not entirely sure what the series is about. The premise is no secret. Jonah Hill and Emma Stone are two strangers who take part in a pharmaceutical trial. After that, all bets are off as the trailers dive into a montage of paranoia and alternate realities. We do know that Kari Fukunaga, the mastermind behind True Detective and the screenwriter of It, is helming the series, which promises a dark journey into the human psyche. Check it out on September 21st. Quincy Rashida Jones rose to fame as Ann Perkins on Parks and Recreation in 2009, and she's been going non-stop ever since. Ann Perkins! Ann Perkins! Ann Perkins! The actress is the daughter of legendary musician and producer Quincy Jones, and now Rashida is turning her sights on Dear Old Dad with Quincy. The documentary will offer an intimate look at Quincy Jones' professional career and his private life. Take a look on September 21st. The Good Cop the Good Cop marks the streaming service's first foray into procedural crime shows anchored by quirky, off-kilter detectives. The series stars Tony Danza and Josh Groban as a father and son, both of whom are NYPD cops. Well, the father used to be, at least, until he was kicked off the force and sent to jail for seven years. Now his son is a straight-laced, by-the-book detective who's trying hard to stay away from the corruption that landed his dad behind bars. I told him everything I know. Uh, except right from wrong. <laughs> Look for it on September 21st. Norseman Season 2 On the surface, Norseman looks like a spoof of shows like Vikings and Game of Thrones, but watch a little longer and you'll find so much more than that. Norseman anchors its many jokes with its own characters, storylines, and surprisingly rich production design. Well, brother. Why don't you just let me do it because I... No, 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 it's just my hands are very cold. It's not a comedy style for everyone, but with season 2 heading for Netflix on September 26th, you'll have plenty of time to give Norseman a chance. You have something that belongs to me? Fair. We're actually in control here, so... Hold the Dark 
from Jeremy Saunier, the director of Blue Ruin and Green Room, Hold the Dark is about a writer who's summoned to Alaska to track down the wolves that carried off a woman's son. Once he starts digging into the case, though, he finds that there's more to the story than he'd realized. Westworld's Jeffrey Wright stars alongside Alexander Skarsgård and Riley Keough. Look for Hold the Dark to hit Netflix on September 28th. New Original Stand-Up Netflix always has a few treats for stand-up comedy fans, and September is no different. On the 11th, look for Daniel Sloss' live shows. The Scottish comedian will be hitting on a range of controversial topics with his trademark humor style. On the 18th, look for D.L. Hughley in an all-new Netflix special entitled Contrarian. With everything from Black Panther to current politics on the table, it's bound to be an entertaining show. New Movies this September, you'll get the chance to explore the high seas, battle for evil ex-supremacy, and take a walk on the wild side. And you can do it all without ever leaving the couch. On September 1st, check out action favorites like Spider-Man 3, King Kong, and Pearl Harbor. Then look for Black Panther on the 4th, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World on the 16th, and Pirates of the Caribbean The Curse of the Black Pearl on the 25th. If watching Topher Grace lose his mind to an alien symbiote in Spider-Man 3 doesn't do it for you, you can also watch him lose his mind in a haunted house with the 2018 thriller Delirium. Ooh, my spider sense is tingling. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Delirium arrives on the 1st, side by side with screamers like Stephanie, The Keeping Hours, and The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Beginning. And on the 17th, make sure you tune in for The Witch, 2016's most terrifying movie about Puritans. There won't be a lot of new drama films heading to Netflix in September, but the few that are are definite winners. In particular, be sure to look for Scarface, Unforgiven, and The Cider House Rules, the Oscar-winning drama about a World War II orphanage. I hate orphans. Say it again to my face. I hate them. If you're looking for something lighter, the first of the month sees a handful of comedies joining the Netflix ranks. You'll get classics like Groundhog Day right alongside modern favorites like Bruce Almighty, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and Nacho Libre. New Television Netflix's television selection is ratcheting up the horror this month. The biggest new addition is American Horror Story, Cult, which is hitting Netflix on September 18th. Earlier in the month, you can also dig into Season 3 of Quantico on the 2nd, Season 2 of Van Helsing on the 5th, and Season 7 of Once Upon a Time on the 6th. Finally, grab your wire-wrapped baseball bat replica, or whatever, and settle in for Season 8 of The Walking Dead on the 23rd. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy!